So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, five reasons why the Huawei P20 Pro has stayed in my pocket. Now first I want to explain the reasons why it's not staying in my pocket, but it is, but let me get these negatives out of the way first so you can understand the reasons why. Number one is design. Now while this design I do think is pretty nice for an Android phone, it does have a notch that's questionable, it is smaller than what you find on Apple's side of things, but because Apple already did this design up, you know, it just just kind of seems like they're just emulating the Apple design. So I'm not, you know, saying that I'm using this a lot right now because of the design. That's not the reason. Display either. It has a 1080p display. So it's not a full, you know, 2K panel like you can get on the Galaxy S9, which I think is a better screen than the Huawei P20 Pro. And uh, it's not the software. EMUI to me is definitely probably one of the worst of the, you know, Android skins you could get, I feel like. And it's not because it doesn't have a headphone jack. I actually don't like that about this phone. But let me talk about the first reason. And the first one is ergonomics. I think this is a very comfortable design for a 6.1 inch device. It's been very easy to one hand this phone for some reason. And uh, you know what? You do have the ability to go ahead and use this gesture on the home button and if we go into the system and navigation and I turn on the virtual keys you can also go ahead and just one hand it down like that so you know Samsung does have a feature like that but I just found this phone pretty easy to one hand it and I like that it has a flat display it's not like a curved display so you don't accidentally press things and uh, it doesn't have any distortion along the edges which can happen sometimes if the curve is too aggressive not so much on the S9 but I'm just saying I really do like a flat display here. Number two is the cameras have been nothing short of amazing and I think they might be the best cameras I've ever seen on a smartphone. It's the first phone with three cameras on it. You have a monochrome sensor, a 40 megapixel, one over 1.7 inch sensor, which is the biggest sensor ever on a smartphone. And then you have an eight megapixel telephoto lens and you can combine these two lenses to go 5X on the zoom. It is ridiculous how far this thing can zoom. And going into the camera software, we do have you know some nice modes in here. Video is not the best, so I'm not saying this for video, but I'm talking about photography, which is mostly what I like to do on a phone anyway, because video, that's where I go to a real camera. But if you're looking for the total package, video might not impress you too much but this phone has been very impressive specifically the night mode as well but I'm not going to talk too much about the camera take a look at these samples that I've been taking in the past couple of days so you can see why I've really enjoyed this camera Number three is the battery life has been laughably great. The longest lasting Android phone I've ever seen, actually 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And I know I haven't tried out, you know, some of those 5,000 milliamp phones like the Moto E5 and those kind of phones are probably better than this. But for a flagship phone, this is the best Android phone I have right now for battery life. It easily gets you through a day. You're always going to come home at the end of the day with probably at least 40% battery life. It's that good. And that has the darkened interface colors for the nighttime to save even more battery life. And then when you charge it, the supercharging is very fast as well. So very fast charging and great battery life. So that's a reason why it stayed in my pocket. It's actually better than the S9s and the Pixel 2 XL's battery life, which is saying a lot for a Huawei device. And number four has been the surprisingly good viewing experience 
it's outside. I don't know if for some reason I've been easily able to see this phone in the sun where it was a problem with the Pixel 2 XL. I was trying to see that, couldn't see that too well in the sun. Now the Galaxy S9, easily to see in the sun as well, but it was nice to see that they didn't drop the ball on making this visible in sunlight. So I do like that this phone is pretty easily visible outdoors. And number five is the speakers. So the speakers are very loud. They're punchy they just sound very good and the phone call quality also sounds very loud as well i was riding my bike yesterday and i got a text message notification and it like vibrated so loud you could kind of hear the sound you know just echoing on the street it was that loud it's a very loud speaker and audio experience here for the huawei p20 pro which i think you will like all of these things make for a pretty good user experience here with the p20 pro great battery life that's something people always want on a phone good cameras really good cameras here the best you can get probably on a smartphone and also you have really good calling and audio those are another thing that people really care about a lot and i think all that together ties in to give you a really nice package here with the p20 pro so that pretty much wraps it up here for me of the huawei p20 pro five reasons why i think it's going to be staying in my pocket for quite some time here mostly because of the cameras you know having a camera that i think is more versatile than the other flagships makes me feel like if i go to a different flagship i'm going to be missing out on that great zoom and i really like zoom on a camera and if you like that this this phone is definitely for you. Click the like button for me if you enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.